Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Cyberpunk 2077 with the 1.05 patch. To skip to any of the settings and resolutions tested, check the timestamps down in the description. So I tested this game on day 1, which was a version 1.03. Now that it's been a couple weeks, we got patch 1.04, which didn't change much. And very recently we got patch 1.05. According to the developers, there will be another big patch on January, which I'll be testing once it's out. One of the most notable differences in this patch is that CPUs with 4 cores 8 threads and 6 cores 12 threads on the Ryzen side are now using the SMT on the game, which wasn't the case previously, you had to edit the executable, and now it's not necessary. Also Digital Foundry released a video talking about the options menu and the optimal settings so big thanks to digital foundry for making that link in the description if you want to know more about the options menu so yeah this game requires a lot of gpu to be able to get 60 frames per second but you can get there with a few tweaks if you have something faster than a 1650 super it should be doable on the cpu side of things if you have a four core eight thread cpu more of a modern one you should be able to get 60 frames if your graphics card is capable so ryzen 3 3100 as an example should be enough it will be basically maxed out on the city but in general it should be enough then if you have a Ryzen 5 3600 or an i5 10400F or an i3 10100F, it should be fine, you should be able to get 60s just fine, if your GPU can do it of course. Then on the RAM side of things, it uses more than 8GB of RAM, so my advice is to have more than 8GB and on dual channel, very important. And for the testing I'll be driving around the city a little bit, and then I'll be fighting very quickly, so you can see both scenarios. But yeah guys, that's about it. I hope you keep enjoying the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. I'll do anything! Fuck this. 